So this is what they got at Harbor Freight for the inverters. Um, actually, they actually ran out of the um, the 2,000 watts. This is just a display they have. The ones that I need, they ran out of it, the 2,000 watts. But the guy went in the back to see if he find any. Hopefully, he find some in the back. What's up, guys? So today, I will be installing a inverter in my International Pro Store semi truck. Um, so I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up a uh, 2000 watt inverter. Let me turn the camera around and show you guys. So this is the uh, Jupiter. Um, this is the, the 2000 watt one. So I got some cord, some wires down there. Um, and this is where I'm gonna put it. So, over this corner right here, I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna try and drill a hole down there, run the wires up, and put this back over here. So, I got some rubber grommets. I got these here. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is drill a hole and put these in the hole and run the wires through the grommets so they can protect the the wires from getting cut and hitting the body and you know short the wires out or mess the you know it's not good when you have wires hitting the body of the truck because the the metal can cut in the wires and cause problem anyway um let me go outside and show you where i'm gonna run the wires at all right so this is the battery area and as you can see it's not too far from where i'm gonna put the wires so the wire is gonna go right in this corner and the um inverter is gonna go right here on the um behind on the bed wall so the battery is here so we're gonna run the wires we're gonna run the wires right up here all right so let me get my drills and stuff all right guys so after further looking under the bottom of the cab if you look right here there's a plug right here so they made the truck with a pre drill hole and they plugged it just in case you want to run some wires up in here you can remove this plug so what I'm gonna do is remove this plug I might have to open it up a little bit um, I don't want to run the two wires in the same holes um, I might drill another hole right here so I don't have to open this one up I could just use it just like how it is with this size so I will probably just drill another hole right here and run the wires up so the wires are going to go in the um in the side pocket door right here so this is a side pocket door and the wires is going to come up here i rather put the wires in the side pocket because um if any draft is going to leak up in the cab it'll be in this area not per se in the cab area you know what i mean so i just popped that rubber plug from under the cab and now i'm gonna put in my rubber grommet i'm gonna put this in hopefully we'll go in no problem screwdriver so nice nice perfect we like that perfect all right so now I'm gonna drill another hole I'm gonna drill it uh, I'm gonna drill it right here next to that one or uh, 
or I might come over here. Yeah, I think I might come right here. All right, so I had to switch it up a little bit. I had to take this back out and use this right here. And this is not even the right thing, but this did the job. I just, I just improvise and you know, just do it a couple of times and it made a hole in there. But this needed like a a pilot drill bit in here, and they do have them, but this one just didn't have none. I thought I could probably do it, but it was just dancing around on there. If you notice, it made a little, made some scratches on there, but this right here this right here did the job and this is not the right thing but it made I made it work and as you can see it made a perfect hole in there all right so now I'm gonna put the other rubber grommet in there I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver again Trying to do this while holding the camera as I okay. There we go. Perfect. So what I did so far, I cut this um this wire right here and I put one of these connectors on this right here on the other piece. Um so this had a piece of um, protective um, piece, so I just slide it over this. And now I'm gonna use my electrical tape and put it on this red one right here. Um, so I was looking for a fuse, I couldn't find no fuse. The only thing they had was this 150 amp uh, breaker. This is not the right um, size breaker. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm just doing this temporarily. I won't new, I won't use any high power um, appliance in there. So this should be um, sufficient until I change it. Um, so ideally, you want to get a um, a 200 amp uh, breaker if you're going to use a breaker, not 150 for for the um, 2000 watt inverter, you need a 200 amp, all right? So just keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna put this like right here. I'm gonna put it like right there. So I'm getting ready to uh, connect the breaker to the wires so this is the wire that go up in the cab so you got to pay attention to the labels on the breaker so this terminal right here is for the accessory which is the wire that going up in the cab and this wire right here and this terminal right here is for the battery which is this wire right here you're gonna put this side over here and then the other hand on the positive terminal all right, and this right here, you're gonna put it on the accessory terminal on the breaker. Also, if you notice, this breaker is trip. So you gotta leave it in this position when you doing your wires. After you do your wires, then you can set your breaker. All right? All right, so everything is connected now. The positive on the breaker and I connected the uh, negative last. So when you're doing this, make sure you do the positive first and the negative last. All right, so now um, the breaker is, is in the trip position. So when I push this black piece, this black piece in, then it'll reset and the power will come on. Okay, so let me show you guys where my wires are run I brought it up like that come over here go down there and then up in the side pocket 
this is where they came out of from the bottom this is the other one right here and they go in the cab now right here I didn't have to drill any hole right here because this is another wire that goes in the cab and where this wire go the hole is big enough down here so I didn't have to drill another hole here I just run the wires through here and they come come around all right now let's go up in the cab now and take a look at my setup where I put my inverter all right so this is where I put my my inverter so my wires are connected so that there's a ground wire down there, an extra ground wire. If you want, you can run a wire to that terminal. If not, you can leave it like that. All right, so we're gonna turn it on from the battery now. We're gonna trip the breaker. I mean, we're gonna reset the breaker. All right, so now I'm gonna, uh, now I'm gonna reset the breaker by just pushing this reset tab in like so all right so let me if you want you can test it you can just push this red button down and see if this black piece will pop out see that so popped out all right so let's go up in there and check the um inverter and we got power I didn't realize that the inverter was in the on position that was my bad but when you installing this make sure you your inverter is in the off position when you working on these stuff anyway so I'm gonna do a little test I got my drum well I got my drum well down here. Gonna test it out with the drum well. I was using this drum well earlier. So it's just something I, I had in my arm reach, so I just grab it. Okay, now we're going to give it a go. Ooh. Yeah, baby. And we got power, just like that. Just like that. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next, next one. See ya.